There's John's boat, Rod's boat, free range truck, Rackley's boat, the Guggen truck. Well guys, welcome back to another episode of AP Bassin. My last video left off at Fork that I was going to be fishing in the afternoon. The afternoon was not a success. We didn't catch a single fish in the afternoon. That's okay. We then had Guggen week for four days and now I'm back on the road again. I'm officially leaving Texas for good now. Um, the next week is going to be something very special because it's going to be a week of straight in the RV. I'm going to try and hit four to five states up in that week and really try and film something awesome. So we're about to get on the road. It's Matt and myself. And uh, the first lake, though, is going to be in Texas that we stopped since we didn't get to leave this afternoon until about noon. So Guggen HQ, adios for a little while. Adios, Wes. Oh, we should probably fish today. Rather than just driving, we can drive. It's been a three day drought. It's been a three day drought with no fishing. Um, we've been filming all stuff around the warehouse. I should probably put this mic inside. All stuff around the warehouse and not any fishing. So fishing, we're about to do some fishing, about to do some fun stuff. And um, yeah, 45 minutes, we'll be at the lake. We're here, we're at the lake. Welcome. Um, MR Bassin, he just put the, uh, the boat in the water for me. Me and Matt are going, like I said. Um, we finalized a little bit on that drive there. We're definitely stopping Arkansas. We're definitely probably stopping in Missouri as well as Illinois. Um, and then I think SB Fishing is going to be in Illinois and Ohio during that same time, kind of when we're ending this trip, like near my house. So then we're going to try and meet up with him. So that's kind of the goal um, as of what's going on in my life right now. But today is the last day in Texas. I'll probably be fishing here for quite some time. Water's a little high from yesterday's rain. Um, yo. It's windy. <laughs> All right, guys, I just kind of put a windscreen on my mic. Hopefully that helps with this wind today. We're just going to have some fun. We've got about five hours on this lake. Um, I fished here one time before. I feel like every time I fish a Texas lake, it's always one time lately because I've kind of got used to fishing a couple different lakes. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see what happens. I'm probably going to start off with a black and blue jig just because of the water clarity. We had a crazy hailstorm the other day. If you guys saw any of the Guggen stories, you guys saw there was a bunch of hail that came here. But so I'm going to throw a black and blue jig and we're going to see what happens. This reel sounds like absolute death. I need some oil. Oh my gosh, in the drain, dude, in the drain. First fish. No, I got him. <laughs> oh, it's a spot, dude. It's a spotted bass. You ever caught a spotted bass? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they got really sharp tongues. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, see the lining? <laughs> spotted bass, look at that. Man, that fish was way in that drain. Um, this is the first spot, just tied that black and blue jig on. Used in that 7.6 white bird. Um, this is one of my favorite rods I've ever used. It's super inexpensive too. It's uh, one of their base model rods. And see, that fish came way in that drain. I wonder how many fish were like right at this when you came up here with the trolling motor. Shut up. You know? <laughs> this wind is absolutely astonishing. Can't get away from this wind. Wow, what a change, man. We went from, it's literally blowing Mach 80 out there <laughs> to absolutely gorgeous in here. You know, just find yourself a creek in the springtime, guys. What is this? Oh, there are no fish here. Fish? Yeah. Oh my god, they're loaded in here. The white bass school once again. White bass, baby. Alright, we're about to make. We're about to catch some white bass here. Alright guys, we've come in the back of this creek right here. What do you have going on here? Wow. We've come way back in this creek. We've literally spent the last 57 minutes coming into this creek we haven't caught a single fish and all of a sudden we've just seen matt's caught two white bass and we just saw our first bass oh am i gonna clear that i need to put a 1.0 on here we go there's definitely a... why are they all the way oh my gosh dude there's gravel up there like a gravel sandbar there we go there we go white bass king we're back at it here gotta love them white bass I don't think we're going to keep them though. We already did a catch and cook and uh, we've actually got a little bit left over from those fish tacos. So we don't want to drain the resource too bad. It's crazy. Literally, like I just said, we spent 57 minutes coming back up this creek, at least two or three miles up here and finally found some fish. Obviously not the target species, but I just had a bass try and eat it. What? That's an LMB, I think. Is that an LMB? No, that's a white bass. That one stroked it. 
That's a nice one. Look at that Maybe one. Eat you want to eat them? I don't know. These kind of look unhealthy. Look how skinny that one is. Maybe not. It's crazy how they school up. I'm actually using a new prototype Guggenbait swim bait with a little underspin. And uh, oh my gosh, that one hit it right there. Just throwing it in there. I, I let that one kind of sink and that one clocked it. So let that let that be in consideration for you. Oh my goodness. Gosh, these fish are so fun to catch. I think an underspin is probably one of the funnest ways to catch them too because they literally hit it like a like a jig. And all those. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. I saw that one just crank it. <laughs> just using light line, a little seven foot bass rod. Especially in the spring, these fish are actually spawning and they go up these creeks and not like a traditional bass spawn where they spawn on a bed, but they like all group up and it's just like super easy to catch them. And this is just a little pocket way in the back. And literally just making that small cast. Oh, I just got hit. Just got hit. And like, oh. Oh my gosh, it's almost a shame that we're not keeping these. Like, they taste so good. Look at that, there's like three following. Oh yeah. Oh. Trying to mate. <laughs> well, that was a super pleasant surprise there. Um, we literally got into a crazy school of white bass. Um, not our target species, but that was super fun to catch. Um, and as you guys know, the reason why I really wanted to come back here was to get out of the uh, nasty 20 to 30 mile an hour winds, which was a success. There's just no largemouth in here, which that was our goal. So we've got one spotted bass at the, at the ramp right when we started. And then we've caught in probably 30 white bass so far. And uh, now we're making our way out of here. Gnats are just... Yeah, horrendous. Yeah, what is with these things, man? It's like the middle of the day. Get away from me. We'll, uh, we'll check back out there in the, in the windstorm. Well, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we officially just got blown off the lake for the first time ever. This is the where the wind's coming from. So imagine what it is on the other side of the lake where we just were fishing. Um, it is currently about six o'clock, seven, six thirty, seven o'clock, and we've got five to six. You know, I'm gonna go inside. We have five to six hours of driving left to do. Mr. Bass is gonna pick up some slack while I. Uh... Are you feeling hungry? Yeah. Should I make some? Should I make some PB and J's? Uh, you could. Oh, PB and J sound good. Strawberry but we've got five hours until we are in Arkansas, which is our second stop. First stop was Northern Texas, um, and this is officially it for Texas for me for a while. Bye bye Texas. Hello Arkansas. Hey guys, we're here in Clarksville, Arkansas. It's been a minute since I've been in Arkansas before. I fished Arnell once in my time before this, a time before this, and uh, yeah. So good night. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Plan is to wake up pretty early. Um, it's supposed to get kind of decent. It's going to be cold. It's going to be 45 degrees tonight. So we're going to get some sleep, kind of sleep in until probably about 6 or 7. And then, uh, yeah, get out there by 9. That's the goal is to get out there by 9. So good night. Good morning. Welcome back, guys. We just left the Walmart parking lot about to show up to Lake Darnell. We're running about an hour late. Um, but that's actually a good thing because now it's actually warmed up to 68 degrees. It was 45 degrees this morning, like I said last night. It actually did get that cold. Um, we didn't charge the boat. We didn't do any of that because we barely ran it yesterday, um, as you guys know, because this is a continuation video. Yeah, so yesterday I didn't land a single largemouth. I caught one spotted bass. Rungi caught a largemouth, and that was about it. So, But we did catch those white bass. Today, Lake Darnell. If you guys don't know this, this is a very famous lake. A lot of big bass tournaments are on here, and this is a huge reservoir. So, I'm gonna see, um, we're launching, you know, in a spot that I have fished, an area I fished before. I only caught three bass last time in the tournament I fished out here, so this is kind of a redemption, um, coming out here and trying to really see what we can do. Other than that, I guess let's get to the water, let's see what's going on. Here's the ramp. We're out, the boat's in the water. It is time to try and catch some big old bass here. Um, Mostly lately, I've been not been trying to do any challenges or anything like that, but if you guys do want some of those videos, let me know below. I've been really just trying to catch some bass and seeing if um, the bass fishing is so good right now, it's spring. If you guys are just trying to get into bass fishing, this is definitely the time to do it. And this is a totally different state. 
So I don't know what's gonna be going on here. What's the water temp? Really? 63.3. Wow, there's bluegills right here. Game over. Might as well. Might as well catch them all. All right, guys, we did not go far. We literally just idled under the bridge. Came in the back of this little kind of cut area. And this is spot number one. Here on Famous Lake Darnell. I'm throwing a black and blue jig with a crack and craw. Rungi's throwing a DP jig. Mud bug with a crack and craw. What's new? What's new? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, dude, that, that fish was sitting there with the jig. Heck yeah, first Arkansas bass did not take long. It is a nice one too, dude. Look at that one. Two pounder all, right. all day long on that little black and blue jig. Dude, that fish was sitting there with it, like swimming off sideways. And like, I wasn't even ready. That is fish number one. Another one. Oh my gosh, dude, they're just swimming off with it. Look at how skinny that one is. There we go, fish number two, literally next cast. Wow, this is gonna be a good day, I got a feeling. When you can find some river bass like this that are kind of schooled up in a little area, Oh my goodness. Lake Darnell is actually a river system, so there's a lot of current in here, and we're off just like in a little back bay. And um, that one literally came, caught the first one there, second one there, here's the third one, ready? It's just changed up the color, throwing a little baby blue and a little green pumpkin blue there, so just matching the jig trailer to the jig. Uh, water's a little bit cleaner than I thought it'd be in this little area, so. We're gonna see what happens. Those two fish came right away. Just boom, boom, baby. I bet you there's a fish here, according to my patterns. Oh God, dude. Bacon. Ranked it, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that guy. Holy cow, that one, dude, that one hit it so hard when it came over that grass mat. All right, guys, that is, that fish could be a spawner. Look at how beat up it is. Look at how fat that thing is. That fish is four pounds all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well matt had the camera zoomed in that whole time but that is the first nice one on lake darnell um that's a four pounder all day do we have that scale four ounces what do you think four, hell yeah four eight four pounds 13 ounces it says 12 but yeah oh 12 oh, 12. 12 and a quarter okay. 12 and a quarter whatever four pounds 12 ounces that's a five that's a five pound class fish right there Look at that thing, just an absolute gorgeous Arkansas bass. That was my first bass to hit over four pounds I've ever caught in Arkansas and just choked that bait buffet jig with that crack and craw. Just loving that crack and craw these days. So let's get a picture, get her back, and uh, get kind of uh, reestablished here. Just an absolute tanker. Heck yes, heck yes. We needed that fish. What's going on, you okay? Zoomed in, <laughs> zoomed in, nice job. Well, we've had some zoom in problems there, but it's all good, heck. If I told you today I was gonna catch one that was close to five pounds, four pounds, 12 ounces, there's no way I would've said that. But I literally, the crazy part was I crawled that jig. I don't know, is there a bed right there? No, I don't know if these fish are spawning or what's going on. But I literally, the water temp's about 60 degrees and I crawled that jig over the point and brought it over the point and she hit it right as it hit the grass. And I was like, oh, that's a good one. Luckily, she didn't break me off. There was kind of like some wood and stuff, but got her out, got that all on camera, and uh, yeah. Hey, guess what? What? Point leading into a pocket. Point leading into a pocket? I got a question for you real quick. What's that? Have I caught any today? No, I no, haven't. No, no, not that. No, on your chin right now. I got some sunscreen or what? 
Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. That's how we're gonna end it because I know that this video's just been stretched on with the whole us leaving the warehouse and then en actually ending up in Arkansas and just catching a big fish right there. So I think we're actually gonna go back to the ramp. We spent two hours here this morning in this little pocket. We're gonna get a quick snack, grab something, and do a quick challenge video. You up for that? I'm up for that. You up for a challenge? What's the loser gonna have to do? What do you think? It's gonna be good. Swim That's across the bayou. All I'm gonna say is it's gonna be good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode and we'll catch you guys on the next episode of AP Bassin.